every Tuesday, traffic expert Jason Luber answers a question driving you crazy. And Jason, this week it's about bikes on the back of vehicles. And not just bikes on the back of vehicles, but bikes and bike racks that are covering the license plates on the back of these vehicles like this one. It's Dave from Bertha Do Rights. What's driving you crazy? I have a photo on my phone of a bike rack on a car covering up the rear license plate with no bikes on it. Is that even legal? Well, the very short answer, Dave, is no, it's not legal, nor is it legal if there are bikes on the rack. If you see like uh, right there, Colorado revised statutes clearly states a person shall not operate a motor vehicle with an affixed device or a substance that causes all or a portion of the license plate to be unreadable by a system used to automatically identify a motor vehicle. Now a bike rack with bikes on it or not qualifies as an affixed device. And when I talked to a couple of officers about this, one of them, an avid cyclist, they told me there is is there an intent of the law and the officer discretion? Now the law is written so the officers or automatic plate readers like the ones you would see in a toll road, they can see and read the plates easily. Now they aren't likely to pull you over, police aren't, unless they believe there is a real intent to break the law. The best way to do that is to remove the bike rack from the vehicle when there aren't bikes on it. And when there are bikes on the rack, the officers I spoke to told me they would feel like there is reasonable suspicion that the driver is not intending to break the law, but just go riding their bike. Now the law is different in other states, including in Utah, where a lot of Coloradans like to go riding. More on that part of the story right now on the DenverChannel.com. You click on the left side of the screen to Denver 7 Traffic, and then at the top, you'll see Driving You Crazy.